Hi, we're here live in the Wamda studio with Rami Asaf of Le Moon, a niche job recruitment site that focuses on sales and marketing. Hi, happy to be here. Hey Rami, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Um, so tell me about Le Moon. We've written about you on Wanda, um, but just tell our viewers a bit about how you developed the site and why you targeted this niche when it comes to um, allowing people to post jobs and seek jobs. Well, it's, it did start off as a niche, and that's, that is what we're doing today. It's uh, specifically for sales and marketing roles in the UAE and Qatar. Uh, we do want to expand outside of that niche. Uh, it was just a, a good gr way for us to test the product and make sure it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. I see. Mm. Talk to me about the algorithm that you guys, I mean, there's, I, I hear this complaint from a lot of startups that I interview. It's really hard to find talent in the region, especially because they post one job posting and they'll maybe get 500 irrelevant CVs. Mm -hmm. You've designed the site to solve that issue. How do you guys do that? Yeah, so it's a, it's a major problem in the Middle East as well as other parts of the world. Uh, on average, you're right, yeah, job posts can get six or 700 or more CVs. So how are you supposed to go through this? How are you supposed to sift through it? Especially for a company that doesn't have that much time or an HR department to actually spend that, those man hours. So we found that to be, to be a huge problem and it's a huge cost. So the solution was specifically designed um, to make that more friendly, to, to automate some of that hard work. Uh, what we found was that the reason there were so many applicants um, was because there was a miscommunication. So for example, there would be a role for an account manager, which is uh, IE sales, and you would have accountants applying because there's a keyword that overlapped. So that's part of what we, what we aim to solve, is to clarify exactly what this job is about before the applicant comes through. I see, so you're at least weeding out some of the inappropriate applicants. Really, really it's about the, um, the job description. So a lot of people don't consider the job description very much. They like the company name, they like the title, they think it's a good salary, so they apply. And they don't take into consideration their experience as it relates to this job. I see. Yeah. And how has the growth been since you started? How many people have been coming online to post jobs? Uh, the growth has been, been phenomenal. Uh, we, we have two markets we're serving. One is the job seeker, one is the recruiter. So we treat them uh, independently. Um, so when we create campaigns, it's for one or the other. With the job seeker, what we've done is, uh, which we've succeeded in doing, is uh, a very special user interface. And that user inter interface actually cap captivates the user. So it's very non-traditional, it's very interactive. And uh, you'll find people become addicted to this sort of game-like interface. They spend more time on it. This allows us to get to know them better. If we get to know them better, we can ultimately match them better to the right job. So we've had a clear win there. With recruiters, um, it's, it's about getting the word out to them, letting them know there's an easier way and letting them know there's something new and fresh, which is something that doesn't come often in the uh, recruitment space. So it's exciting. Cool. And um, you know, startups always talk about how expensive it is to post on job recruitment sites. Mm -hmm. Are you guys tailoring any products for startups? Um, how do you approach the smaller guys in the market? Right. So the smaller guys in the market, uh, when, when surveyed, their, their biggest problem today is not necessarily access to capital in terms of financial capital. It's, it's oftentimes access to human capital. So these, these growing companies, they need people, they need talented people. They need people who have, have had experiences before that they can bring to the table and provide faster turnaround times for the company. They don't necessarily have development programs, training programs. Uh, so we see Le Moon as um, a very useful tool for these growing companies because it can help them uh, find that talent a lot faster, a lot more efficiently. Great. And you guys also just received funding from MEVP, which was announced yesterday. Yes. Uh, what do you plan to do with that funding in the future? Or what do, and also, what does Honeybee Ventures, the broader sort of parent company of Le Moon, or... Uh, well, well uh, Honeybee Ventures is, um, is the company who helped develop Le Moon and um, bring it to where it is today. Now, with the funding, uh, now this is when the work really starts, and this is where we have to go out and really scale the product. Uh, scale to different verticals, both geographically we want to expand and maybe even into other countries, maybe into the West. Great. And what other verticals do you think you'll step into? 
we, we see uh, tech as a, a big industry uh, in terms of role and experience. There's a lot of people looking for jobs. There's a lot of demand for people with uh, technology background. Uh, we also see uh, retail, we see FMCG. We see lots of different uh, things that are very interesting for people. Uh, but we want to move into them uh, specifically with a certain approach tailored per vertical. I see. Does that affect the algorithm that you use to match people? Yeah, it really depends. So for sales and marketing, we can ask specific questions um, about, about this person to help sort of, because these are gray, gray areas. Uh, what we found is that most people don't consider themselves just a sales or a marketing person. They consider themselves a hybrid of some sort with leaning on one side or the other. Uh, actually, 70% of our users cate categorize themselves that way as a hybrid. So we see other verticals having that grayness that we can help sort of pinpoint where they are in that spectrum versus just labeling them as one thing and moving on. Very cool. So you're just helping out the, both sides, the job seekers and the recruiters right. figure out. Right. So this works. single process actually helps both sides. Insane. All right. All right. Well, keep us posted on your expansion. Thank you very much. And Mabruk. Thank you.